Welcome everyone to another Structure Deck unboxing video. This time around we're going to be looking at the Structure Deck known as Zombie Horde, which actually came out in November 2nd of 2018. This one is a rather newer one. Uh, definitely one of the newer ones I've unboxed so far in this entire series of Structure Deck slash Starter Deck openings. So yeah, before I open it, just quickly uh, take a look at the back right here. It says Unleash the Zombie World. So, the interesting thing is that obviously, you know, um, two additional zombie decks came up before this one. They were known as Zombie Madness, one of the very first ones to come out, and then Zombie World, which came out several years later. This one, it focuses on Zombie World as well, and if you actually take a look at the contents in terms of what it has, you will see that the lineup is actually fairly similar to Zombie World, despite Zombie World coming out almost, actually, probably like, yeah, almost 10 years earlier. Uh, there's definitely some newer additions in here because there's been a lot of new cards in the last 10 years, of course, but a lot of them are actually the same, you'll actually see, because it's uh, very intriguing. Now, this is right here, as you can see, a first edition version of this um, structure deck, so, you know what, let's go ahead and do it. So, uh, like always, you know, these uh, these decks, of course, definitely come with a variety of um, of things in here. I will quickly show off all of, all of the stuff uh, that are not the cards first. It only takes like two minutes or so to do everything. And then of course I will finally go ahead and show off the um, actual cards, which of course is the main reason why, you know, you would probably want to see this. Alright, so <clears throat> let's go ahead and, ooh, I almost shook the camera there. Alright, and there we go. That's it for that as you can see. Perfect. Alright, you know what, let's start with this one because it fell off. This here is the beginner's guide, also known as the um, uh, rule book. At least it shows some of the rules in here, so it's pretty cool. Uh, it is updated, of course, to have some newer stuff in here. Obviously, the, the year that you get the, the deck will show you it's like some examples being some older cards or some newer ones. There's a bunch of pendulum stuff here, of course, but yeah, so that's one thing. I'm uh, going to talk about that. The other thing, really quick, is going to be this right here, as always. It comes with a play mat that's pretty much never used. Um, let me go ahead and show that off really, really quick. There it is. Kind of cool. Uh, I like this whole dark theme-like thing, you know? Uh, because it is a near one, it does actually have the extra monster zones because it's using Master Rule 4, of course. If you buy older decks, they would not have that, you know? So, yeah. All right, so that's that. Um, and then the very last thing, of course, is this, the actual cars themselves. So we are going to go ahead and take a look at this here and see what this contains. I mean, even if you kind of already know, if you just simply look at the back, you know. All right, interestingly enough, despite this being a 2018 deck, the top card, you know, the best card, or not best, but you know, the, the mascot card, or whatever you want to call it, the cover card, is actually a synchro. Um, so yeah, first of all, we're going to get rid of this Duel Links promotion. I'm going to go ahead and put that off to the side. So here are the cards. So the very first one, Red Eye Zombie Necro Dragon. It's actually a level 7 synchro. And let's take a quick look, a quick read at this. Zombie synchro effect, one tuner plus one plus non-tuner monster. So it's actually a generic, as you can see. Gains 100 attack slash defense for each zombie monster on the field and in the graveyards. Which means by itself, it's actually a 2500 attacker. Because it's counting itself. When another zombie monster is destroyed by battle, you can special summon one zombie monster from either graveyard to your field. You can only use this effect of zombie dragon once per turn. Um, so, zombie necro dragon, not zombie dragon. So interestingly, um, it's, it's, it feels like not the best card in the world. Because, think about this, 2018, get it says, when a zombie type monster is destroyed by battle, first of all, that is an indication that, oh, that's actually slow. And it kind of would come to be slow, you know? So that's that's the first one right there. Uh, obviously, there we go, in the very top the middle. All right, let's take a keep, uh, take a keep. Keep taking a look, oh my god. The next one, so here's Tatsu Necro. It's actually a cute, like, zombie, look at that. Level three. This one says, if this normal summon card or set, sorry, monster would be used as synchro material. One monster in your hand can be used as one of the other materials. If you do this, all materials without summon are banished instead of being sent to the graveyard. You cannot special summon monsters except zombie monsters. Wait, well, it's on the field. That's a little unclear. I, first of all, I've never heard of this one because um, I haven't actually seen this card um, in any of the games that I played because it's obviously a newer one. Uh, but 
Yeah, I actually like the artwork a lot. It's definitely very interesting and it's a unique combination to the Synchro lineup, of course. What's nice is that with the new Master Rule coming, Synchros are going to be a little bit more viable now because they'll be able to be used a little more, so that's kind of cool. I like that rule for uh, tuners because it means that they're basically kind of like fusions that you can treat them without polymerization. One of the downsides of the Synchros is that all monsters must be on the field, right? Here's the next one. The next, um, you know, um, Ultra Rare. Doom, King, Baldrock, Billardrock. I don't know how to say it. Long effect there. During the standby phase of a face up card in the field zone, and this card is in your grave, you can spell someone discarding defense position. You can only use this effect once per turn, once per chain, when a zombie monster except Doom King Baldrock activates its effect, except during the damage step, quick effect, you can apply one of its effects. You cannot apply that same effect of Doom King Baldrock against its turn. Negate that effect or banish one monster from the field or graveyard. Interesting. 2800 attacker. Um, so. Pretty cool, pretty cool stuff right there. So those are, well that's actually another Ultra, that's actually a Super over there, Tattoo Necro. There's actually five of them. The next one is this one, Necro World Banshee. Uh, it says zombie effects. Zombie World in the field cannot be destroyed by card effects. Also another player can target it with card effects. Quick effect, you can banish this card from your field or graveyard. Activate one Zombie World directly from your hand or deck. And only once per turn. So it's some Zombie World support with some decent stats for level four. As you can see, yeah, pretty decent card all around. So there's a super right there. And then the last one is Glow Up Bloom. There we go, it's level one. Level one tuner. And its effect says, once it focuses, if this card is sent to the graveyard, you can banish this card from your graveyard, add a one level five or higher zombie monster from your deck to your hand. Or if zombie world is in a field zone, you can special summon it from the deck instead. Whoa. Also in either case, you can also special summon monsters for the rest of this turn, except zombie monsters. That's fine if in the zombie deck. And once per turn. Pretty interesting, especially with Zombie World. So as you can see, there's just, just some more indirect Zombie World support. That's pretty cool. All right, let's get over to the comments now. Not going to be going all over all these effects here, of course, but here's Kasha. Look at that, Kasha. Okay, then we got Red Eye Zombie Dragon. That was actually, it's funny enough, because that was the ace card of Zombie World, the front cover card. Interesting that it got demoted to a regular card now. It's just Power Creep, right? Uh, next one is Ma Malevolent Mech Goku, and this is the one that you can just summon it without tributing, but then it gets blown up, um, I believe, yeah, at the end, so, and you take, and you would actually take damage equal to its original attack in the graveyard, so that's, ooh, you know, good and bad, right? Endless Decay, okay, there we go, Paladin of the Cursed Dragon, this is one that you would obviously know about if you've seen my Let's Plays, because I use that quite a bit in my zombie deck, here's Immortal Ruler, Okay, got that. Uh, zombie Master, another really fantastic addition to zombies. Uh, basically good stats for level 4, or good attack at least. Um, and you just discard a card to special summon a, you know, level 4 lower zombie monster once per turn. Pretty cool. Tristan, Knight of the Underworld. Okay, there's the Underworld cards right there, look at that. When it's normal summon, target a zombie monster with zero defense in your graveyard, add it to your hand. Gain 300 attack if you control a zombie monster. Really good support right there, that's a good zombie. Mizuki, one of the best zombie cards of all time. That is amazing right there. 1700 attacker, banish it in the graveyard to special summon any one zombie monster. Amazing. First edition Mizuki is always cool, you know, to have one of those. And there's Gozuki. Hmm, obviously that's a twist on Mizuki with a little bit of a different effect, of course, but there's a card. Then we get Shutadonji, the always, the always average zombie never a good one but never bad it's always been average pyramid turtle used to be amazing slow down a little bit because of battling now and um you know being a little bit more irrelevant goblin zombie always nice when it's time to fill to the graveyard basically which of the black forest like effect for zombies so that's always cool to have first editions of these then we got isolde bell of the underworld okay Oh, oh my god, that artwork has always, always been amazing to me every time I would see that card. That's pretty cool. Shiranoi Solitaire. Look at that. Then we got Uni Zombie. This is also one of the best zombie type monsters. It's always very interesting, you know, just how good of a card this is. First edition as well. Love that. You've got to love that card right there. Now we got Marionette Might. All right, remember that one. Beast of the Pharaoh. Good for um, basically some synchro stuff there. Oh, that's cool. And then Scapegoat, the fun, the funny scapegoat-like monster, basically, you know. It's a zombie slash flip slash tuner slash effect. That's hilarious. 
So that right there is the monster lineup. Um, honestly, a lot of amazing stuff here. Uh, there's not really an easy way to just separate all these um, things, you know, like in terms of putting them down here. Usually I'd be like, oh, you know, some cards belong like over here and then over here. But no, I mean, it's actually, I'm just going to lay them all like this because this, um, this whole deck here is honestly just uh, all in one. It's all just zombie stuff, you know, getting zombie world out and getting some graveyard effects going. So there's no easy way to separate stuff. It's like, oh, this strategy here, this strategy here. Here's zombie necro necronize. The artwork has always been very interesting because it's all like, what the fuck is going on, you know? Then we got zombie power struggle. Look at that. Zombie World, of course, the field spell. They only give you one, though? Hmm, the fact that it kind of revolves around that. Overpowering Eye, not a, always a very good card. It's been very strange. Look at this. Target one zombie monster control with 2,000 or less attack. It can attack directly this turn. Hmm, I mean, eh, you know? Book of Life, Call of the Mummy, of course, and some heavy staples right there. Foolish Berry, always nice to have a first edition of that card right there. Monster Gate as well. Drag down into the Grave. Burial from a different dimension, another one. Shared Ride, okay. Return of the Zombies, so these are trap cards as you can see. So when it comes to spells, I mean, a lot of them are specifically zombie support. It's nice to always have a Foolish Burial right there. Plus a Monster Gate isn't bad either, but that right there is the spell lineup. So I'll just go ahead and lay them out over here, you know, whatever. That's all the spells right there. And then trap cards, Return of the Zombies, Haunted Shrine, Trap of the Imperial Tomb, Needle bug nest, it's like a needle worm like effect to your own deck. Metaverse, though that's always good, but it would have been nice to have a terraforming as well. Anti spell fragrance slows down spell cards and then mask of restrict for no tributes. Um, sorry, uh, yeah, yeah, no tributes allowed. So that right there is all these trap cards. Once again, it's first edition, so a lot of these cards, it's nice to have copies of. Obviously, it's not always nice to have ultras and supers first edition. Foolish burial's nice. Um, over here I saw Unizombie is always a good card, Mizuki as well is a good one to have. Now right over here, so pretty good. So all right, there is a deck. Uh, as always, let me know what you think of the deck, but also the video. Um, and you can always leave recommendations on what structure deck slash star deck I should be doing next for an unboxing. So yeah, hopefully you enjoyed this video. And as always, I will see you all in the next one. Goodbye, everyone. Have a great and of course a fantastic day.